we are in the Cévennes on a beautiful May Day mid-afternoon uh, and we've driven for miles across the mountains and just at this point we've come across a few old beech trees where it's something like an altitude of 1,419. These old beech trees have got Liberian on them and Fomis fomentarius but here's another example of uh, what old trees suffer from. They're always in the wrong place and here they're actually being affected by the ski centre that we're at. So poor old tree, uh, last of a few on the top of the mountain here, but fantastic biodiversity associated with them. And what we're looking at as far as I'm concerned is a bit of historic French tree culture. Uh, I'm not sure whether these have been cut but I'm pretty certain these are ancient trees that have been cut down the centuries. An indication of not just French culture but European culture. We don't know how much there is of it but we've just come across it of this lovely old growth beech woodland with Liberian on it and other indicators of old growth and here we've got a fabulous old beech pollard which has been cut. We can only assume that it's because of the ski resort and we find it really heartbreaking. And part of European history is now on the ground and it took probably five minutes to fell and maybe four or five hundred years to create. So goodbye, part of our European history, gone forever. The young skiers that are going to come up here over the years will never see it. Still in central France in the high Cévennes and we're on probably a very, very old ancient track and we've come across two or three really old ancient beech trees which look like they've been shredded. Now, that means that they've had the side limbs cut off and the limbs have been used for something. And in this case, my bet is, this was an old traditional uh, stopping place by the shepherds or the woodsmen and they had a camp here. And this is where they cut the limbs off and left the trees uh, and they used the limbs for wood fuel probably. I'm just going to go on a bit further. That big limb, of course, is nothing to do with it. That's one that's been done recently. We're still on that crossroads, that junction of these probably very old ancient tracks. And there's one that's had the side limbs cut off. And right next to it is what looks like a pollard. So this is really telling us something. And we've got to keep these trees until we can understand and get the historians and the archaeologists interested so that we can, these trees can tell us more. We're just only beginning to understand it. The history of the, what these trees can tell us about how man works this area. Well, I know the sun's all wrong, but this is the angle to take these two old trees. Look at how beautiful they are. And what are they telling us? about the history of man coming up here with his sheep and his cows and stopping off and cutting a few limbs for the wood fuel down the centuries and at their traditional spots. Is that the truth or isn't it? I just can't not do a little bit of a blog about Liberian while I'm looking at this fantastic old beech tree and if I pan across I'm not very good on my lichens, but I wouldn't buy betting there aren't some really special lichens on this tree. And over there we've got Fomis fomentarius, which is a super bracket that we find on these old, old trees, creating just the right conditions inside the tree for the rare beetles. And this is so rich in biodiversity. And right next to it, we've got another lovely old tree that's got Liberian on it as well. 
but compare it with the younger trees and you just don't get this bi same biodiversity on them. So that's why we travel so far to see these last, last remnants. And if I zoom in up there, you can see how rich the Liberian community is up there. Fabulous. And just think about Wales is losing its Liberian. It's only one sustainable site left in Wales. And so hence, when we come here and we see it on these trees, we know just how precious it is to look after these old trees and the biodiversity that's associated with them.